do you want to go to Little Bear? I see. All right, so this is Winnie the Westie, and for those of you who don't know him, he is blind. He's a puppy, nine months, but apparently he suffers from something called lentiglobus and lenticonus. And I shouldn't say apparently, it's diagnosed by a doctor, what's his name? Dr. Olivier, who is a veterinary ophthalmologist in Montreal. And he's basically blind. He can see light and dark to some extent. But the amazing thing is, when I take him for a walk, he can still find his way to the local pet supply store, Little Bear. And it's actually amazing and mildly irritating because every time we go for a walk, I have to bring him there. You ready? He's ready. What are you doing there? Oh, I see. I'll just leave you in private for a second. Look at this chili pepper. Okay, you're ready, let's go. Down the stairs, nice, nice. And first decision, which way? That's right, let's go. All right, so it's right around the corner that he catches the whiff and becomes uncontrollably agitated. You smell it? You smell it? He smells it. Go! And some of you may be asking why it is that he insists on pulling me to Little Bear. This is why. You ready? Careful. One, two, three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go get it. Go get it. Nope, it's not there. Hi, buddy. Oh, wow. There we go. Where are my treats? Where are my treats? Oh, look at that. Hi. <laughs> and that is the adventure of Winnie the Blind Westie pulling me to Little Bear. The amazing thing is like he must see like a bat but with hearing and smell and then when he gets close enough to things he can feel his way around.